Hi guys, in this video, we're gonna demonstrate how to set up the Elgato Stream Deck as a live streaming control surface for your favorite live streaming software and gain PTZ camera controls with PTZ Optics cameras. Once you've unboxed your Stream Deck, go ahead and plug it into your computer, which will provide the unit with power and connectivity. Your computer should recognize the USB connection almost immediately. And the Stream Deck should light up showing you that everything is working. Now all you need to do is go ahead and download the latest software to set your Stream Deck up. That's available at elgato.com slash en slash gaming slash downloads. Now note, if you're planning to use the Stream Deck to control OBS, make sure that you already have OBS installed. The Stream Deck control panel installs a plugin for OBS when it's installed and it will not load properly if OBS is installed after you install the Stream Deck control panel software. We learned that one the hard way. Once you've downloaded the software for either Mac or PC, you can go ahead and launch the program. You're now ready to start programming your Stream Deck. On the bottom right hand corner, there is a button for more actions. This is where you can install custom actions such as a CPU usage monitor, an analog clock, and support for third party streaming software solutions such as vMix. Support for OBS, Mixer, Streamlabs, Twitch, Twitter, XSplit, and YouTube are all built in by default. You can add commands to your Stream Deck by dragging and dropping the commands you would like to appear on your Stream Deck to the buttons represented in this application's main area. For each button, you should see that you can customize the name of the button. You will also be presented with options for configurating this command. The physical device will show your changes as you're making them. A unique feature for the Stream Deck allows users to create profiles that allow you to open up new sets of buttons. For example, you can have a home profile and then you can have a profile for each PTZ Optics camera in your studio or each social media platform you would like to control. You can add buttons for websites, shortcuts, applications, camera controls, audio buttons, and much, much more. For this example, we will create a unique profile for our PTZ Optics cameras in our studio. You can also automate your live streaming software such as vMix, XSplit, and OBS. And for today, we'll go ahead and demonstrate how to set up open broadcaster software. You can control your PTZ Optics cameras directly inside OBS, or you can create custom buttons to call PTZ camera presets that communicate directly with your PTZ Optics camera. Let's start by setting up OBS. Let's create a scene for each PTZ Optics camera that we want to use with a built-in camera preset command. We will use a web browser input to automatically send PTZ camera commands to our cameras when we switch scenes inside OBS. Start by opening up OBS and adding your first scene for your camera. Add your camera video source and add a browser source. Inside the browser source, we'll use the HTTP command string available at ptzoptics.com downloads for calling your camera preset. Set up your camera preset in the location that you'd like the camera to move when you click this OBS scene. If you've never used an HTTP command before, it's just like a website web browser address, except it's typed into OBS and it corresponds to the camera preset that you'd like OBS to call when it is entered. Do not forget to click the refresh browser when scene becomes active checkbox inside the browser source in OBS to make sure that OBS sends the PTZ Optics camera a preset command every time that you switch to this input. You can now duplicate this scene and change the HTTP command to represent a new camera PTZ preset for each scene that you'd like to include an automatic camera movement. Now back in the Elgato Stream Deck software, let's create a profile for OBS to store all of our OBS specific button commands. Click the top left-hand corner drop-down menu and click Edit Profiles. In this Preferences window, click the plus button to add a new profile for OBS. We can now access this profile and create a new set of buttons that we can access from our home screen. 
it's a good idea to also create a button to go easily go back to your home screen at any time in these newly created profiles, which allow us to have access to so many more buttons on our Elgato Stream Deck. Now let's start by adding a stream and record button inside our OBS profile. We can do this simply by dragging and dropping these from the right-hand sidebar. Then in OBS Studio drop-down menu found in the right-hand sidebar, add a scene for each scene that you've already created inside OBS. You can drag a scene into any button in this profile. You can then name and configure which scene this button will trigger. Because your OBS scenes have built-in HTTP commands being sent to your PTZ Optics camera, the camera will automatically move when the scene is called. You can go ahead and test this by pressing any of the buttons that now represent not only a scene switch in OBS, but also a PTZ camera movement. Optionally, you can send PTZ preset commands directly to PTZ Optics cameras from your Elgato Stream Deck. This may be a better option for remotely controlling your cameras because you may want to move a camera before you do a scene switch. To do this, set up another profile in your Stream Deck for each PTZ Optics camera that you would like to control from your Stream Deck. In your newly created profile for the camera, choose the Website option, which is located under the Systems tab. Here you can name your preset and enter the HTTP command from the list available at the PTZ Optics documentation on ptzoptics.com downloads. You should be looking for the HTTP command list. Now note, you will need to know your PTZ Optics camera IP address in order to use the HTTP, HTTP commands. Generally, an HTTP command contains multiple variables used to communicate with your PTZ Optics camera over IP. You can customize these variables inside the HTTP command to perform various video production actions with your PTZ Optics robotics camera. Now, do not forget to click the Access in Background option so that your Stream Deck does not open up a new web browser every time that you use this button. And that is it. You now know how to set up an Elgato Stream Deck to control OBS and PTZ Optics cameras. Setting this system up with other video production systems should be a fairly similar process. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. We're really enjoying our brand new Stream Deck and looking forward to sharing more with you in the future. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and join our Facebook user group where so many streamers are getting together and sharing tips and tricks just like this. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.